Hey guys, welcome back to some more Balloons Tower Defense 5. I said in the last episode that we're going to check out the special missions to try and get some quick and easy monkey money so that we can unlock fast track even sooner. So let's go and see which one of these we could do. We don't have all of our towers leveled up to the max, so I don't know. Pass this track on medium difficulty. You may not have more than five towers or agents on the field at once. That's not much though. Five fifty thousand dollars cash to defeat fifty Moabs. Are you up to the task? Um, I I'm not sure if that's gonna work. Crap! I didn't mean to do that. All right. Um, Project Monkey Town. Balloons have located the Monkey Town and are attacking on two fronts. Any balloon that touches the town costs lives, so it's your job to defend the homeland for sixty-five rounds. Ooh, that's going to be a long episode if I do that. Defeat balloon circles on hard using at most one of each different tower type. Uh, that's not going to work either. For their eyes only, use only special agents. Beat the first 50 rounds on switch to win. Uh, we're trying to make money, so I don't think that's going to work. The balloons are invading stream with their most deadliest stealth forces. You... They must have known the meerkats were on leave. Pass round 50 with a twist. All balloons are camo and only one life for 700,000. And the rest of them we can't do. So I... Did I say 700,000? I meant 700. I don't know where the thousand came in. I don't know. It's the drugs. It's probably just the drugs. Let's try this. And if we don't do it, then oh well. Uh, but... If we do, then that's even better. Um, let's go with the ninja monkey as per usual. What about Moabs, though? Do we not have Moabs? There's no such thing as camoed Moabs, so I don't know. And we only have one life, so we should probably invest in a tack tower, tack shooter, not spike factory, as soon as possible. drinking iced tea again ah and it's very good um monkey subs they can detect camo balloons can't they i would think oh god oh god we only have one life that red balloon will end our days how much are these spike factories because i need one in my life come on yes give me tax give me tax quick Whew, that was a close one okay very suspenseful round six is. I tell you. Round six is the worst. How did last level three blue balloons got through and then this level one red balloon got through? I don't know. That's weird. Um, let's get a monkey sub. I'm not sure if these guys could attack camo balloons until you upgrade them. But even so... That's probably not a good place for him either. But there's an upgrade where you can have him attack any balloons that are in radius of another tower. So we'll just get that eventually. And no, he cannot attack camo balloons yet. There's not too much that can't attack camo balloons after being upgraded. Uh, allows long range targeting of balloons that are in radius of your other towers. Yes, so that is the one that we're looking for. That and probably to be able to attack camo balloons. That'd be nice. What round did we have to get to on this map? Crap, I forgot. Uh, I want to say 50 rounds. Yeah. 50 rounds, something like that. And plus... If you think this is going to be a long series because there's a lot of maps, we have to do all the special, or the, not special missions, the random missions too. And there's 250 of them. So there's 250 more episodes just to, uh, you know. Oh wait, and, oh nice, we get camo balloons. It'll attack camo balloons with uh, advanced intel upgrade. So, yeah, 250 episodes at least. I've been playing this game for a long time. Actually, if Balloon Star Defense 6 comes out, we might end the series. Probably. I don't know. Huh. 
<laughs> those special missions though, they they actually do take a lot of skill. Some of them. Right. We're doing pretty good. These monkey subs are, are pretty good when you upgrade them. So we might just go with a bunch of these. Oh, camo regen. Sneaky. God, I'm getting tired. It's pretty late. I had work all day today, which kind of sucks. I just wanted to come home and record some Bloom Star Defense, though, because I love this game and I'm addicted to it, like the drugs that I'm on. I mean, what? No, I'm just joking. I am not on any drugs whatsoever, I promise. <sighs> love Ice Tea, though. Monkey Bunkineers. They could definitely attack Camo Balloons if I remember. So that guy's maxed. Yeah, let's let's go with this guy. Why not? Um, let's put him here though. He'll be more useful here than he will down there. If I could fit him in there. It's freaking obese tower. Oh, I went I upgraded the wrong side. Thought that was gonna be the one to get the camo balloon detection. Crow's nest, yeah, that's what it is. Let's get that out of there so that we can see. Alright. So it should be good. Um Here's the question. Destroyer or cannon ship? I don't know. Oh, God. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I forgot about them. All right. We're back. Um, Cannon ship is 1,200. What could we... Do for 1200 um let's sell this guy temporarily and then we'll get the cannon ship and then let's just upgrade this guy that'll actually help quite a bit we won't have to worry about the support from the monkey sub yeah see so let's let's not worry about the monkey sub he's not as useful as I probably thought so, I kind of wanted the destroyer though. I didn't really want the cannon ship because it's not as good, but well, well we kind of needed something for the camo balloons. Not the uh, the lead balloons. Yeah, them. A glue gunner would actually probably be pretty good, but then I'd have to get a monkey village. Hey, you know what? I'll I'll buy a monkey village and then from there we won't have to worry about what Oh my god, no, no! Oh my god, one freaking lead balloon. Alright, so what uh, What could we possibly do? Um, is this, is that going to give us enough for white hot spikes? Or should I just try and get down a pumpkin thing? A pineapple bomb. Let's keep it in slow motion so we could see when the lead balloons come in and then we could time it out see the melon bombs would be a lot better if they weren't on a delay that's what makes them so poop alright come on blow it up did I get it? I must have got it. Okay, I guess I got it. Let's get the white hot spikes. That's probably a very wise upgrade since the thing that's killing us is the stupid lead balloons. And we only have one live. Alright, upgrade the attack shooter. <sighs> oh, stop yawning. God. Trying to record here. God, stupid cord. Why? Why are you even there? Yeah, go away. Anyways, um, I'm trying to think. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, monkey village. I'm gonna get the monkey village. Put it in range of these two. And then once we get the camo detection on that, we will just be able to buy whatever towers we want. 
Monkey beak. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We don't have it upgraded at all. So that's that's just a waste of money. Might as well sell that. Oh my god, the lead balloons. Oh wait, I have hot spikes. I forgot. I was gonna say, well, I'm dead again. I was gonna preemptively call out me dying. I want to upgrade the faster production because this tax shooter is really holding them back. Alright, we need to upgrade our arsenal here. Let's put this guy here a little bit farther back and then we'll get the, uh, the what's it called thing, the whirlpool. And then he'll help out a lot. There's a lot of balloons getting killed by the spikes down bottom. It's kind of making me nervous that one of these rounds is going to come and screw us over. Like this one with the ceramic balloons. We're good though. It wasn't as bad as I thought. I wonder if we can... If we use the special ability on the plane to get more health, if that works. I'm not sure if that's a thing. Uh oh, whirlpool with regen balloons isn't always a good thing. What what could I use? I need something with camo detection, right? So let's uh, this guy, the sniper monkey's got camo detection, and he's probably actually a decent tower with uh, strong balloons. So we'll set him to attack strong and then he'll help out with some of the pesky balloons. Here's a question though. Do we go with the more popping power or the faster shooting? Uh, I think I'm going to go with the popping power. Just because it's nice to see him instantly pop them pesky ceramic balloons. And plus when we get, if we do get a Moab next round, it would be nice to have him help out. But I'm not going to have that upgrade next round because I don't have enough money, probably. Nope. Oh, there is a Moab. Uh-oh, and I might die from the Moab. Oh, man, them tax. Go. Nice. Okay, so I got the sniper monkey taking out ceramic balloons, I think. Should be one hitting them. Uh, we're gonna have to, might have to worry about round 50. So I'm gonna get some more tax going. White hot spikes. Yeah. Should be good for round 50, I would think. Um, the solo tax shooter down here took out the almost broken Moab, so... Hopefully the second one will be able to take out two. All right, yeah, so he's fully upgraded. So I think I think we should be good. And plus we have enough for like another tower. I'm not sure what though. I know, I know this guy can't detect. Uh, he can't detect the camo balloons. But I'm going to use him for the Moab Mauler upgrade. Help take out some of the Moabs. Should should probably be good though. Yeah, I think the first Moab's gone already. Nice! And an achievement convert pops, whatever that means. Seven hundred dollars. This was not a bad idea trying out this special mission. We're at two thousand. Uh nine hundred more monkey bucks and we'll be able to uh get fast track and then we'll blow through like two easy maps per episode something like that or I could just go with like a bunch of short episodes uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this episode it's a little different but I liked it it was pretty fun that little special missions with just came up balloons so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one maybe